Very good morning, it's Penuel, the Black Pen. Just a few quick updates. The Minister of Public Enterprises, Praveen Kordan, has been ordered to supply to the Western Cape High Court documents pertaining to the sale of SAA and how they came to the decision that South African Airways should be sold, which they did end up doing for 51 Rand. One of the other stories that has come out is that the suspended uh, Director General of Public Enterprises, Khatato Takudi, has written an affidavit stating that he was unfairly suspended by the Minister of Public Enterprises, Praveen Kordan, because he was standing in the way of Praveen Kordan and his team selling some state-owned enterprises fraudulently to a very small group of some of their friends and some of their circle. We're going to see how this is going to pan out. A lot of people have been very unhappy with Praveen Kordan at Public Enterprises and what's been happening there. Dr. Ruel Koza, who used to be the chairperson of the ESCOM board and who is a veteran businessman, has come out to state that Cyril Ramaphosa is a weak and indecisive leader. He says he looks good on paper globally. He sounds very good. He's very stately. Unfortunately, he is indecisive and constantly tries to please too many people. And he says that is not a sign of a good leader. He says that uh, ESCOM needs engineers. And when he was chairperson of the board, they managed to resolve a lot of the debt and they tried to get a lot of engineers to solve some of the problems. And today that has changed. As a shareholder of ESCOM, he believes that government should not intervene with the management, but should just get reports on what's happening at ESCOM and how things should be run. There's going to be a heat wave in Gauteng today. So I'd, I'd please like to urge a lot of you, not just in Gauteng, but in other parts of the country that are going to be very hot. So please just be very, very careful. Please don't be in the sun unnecessarily. If you're going to be outside, please use sunscreen. Uh, stay hydrated. We don't need you guys fainting. We don't need you guys getting sunburnt. And some people, of course, do get skin cancer and die from it. So please take care of yourselves. Uh, nature sometimes gets very, very harsh. And it's up to us to make sure that we are safe. The author of the Stellenbosch Mafia, Peter Tutoy, has released a new book, The ANC Billionaires. If you look at the cover of the book, you've got Cyril Ramaphosa, Tokyo Sirhuale, Sakya Matozoma, and Patrice Mutsipe on the cover. I think it's going to be a very, very great read. A lot of people enjoyed reading the Stellenbosch Mafia, uh, the Billionaire Boys Club, so to speak. And I think it's going to be interesting to read about some of the wealthy people that are connected to the ANC. It's a story of South Africa. It's a story of our economy. It's a story of the fact that the world that we live in is run by various gangs. They may not call themselves gangs, they may call themselves an organization, a club, whatever the case may be. But the reality is that if you're not part of this gang, if you're not following suit, um, you unfortunately do not reap the benefits. There's a great book as well about the Russian oligarchs on the people that run Russia and are billionaires in Russia. And I think for anyone who can get their hands on that book, I think you can learn a lot just about the global economy and how economies are run and the fact that you have to be part of a small clique to win economically and become rich. I'm going to be joining Afri Forum. I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on my progress regarding that. I'm going to be printing their documents today and I'm going to be submitting those so that I can begin sending money to them every single month and adding on to the work that they're doing. The patrolling and servicing work that they do, um, some of the fights that they help small communities do, some of the basic service delivery that they're involved in, and some of the legal cases that they are involved in as well. One of my favorite things about Afri Forum is how they hold government to account, especially pertaining to basic service delivery, some of the laws that are infringing on the rights of minorities and ordinary South Africans. And I'm very, very proud that I will be joining Afri Forum and contributing just a little bit, like the other 300,000 or so members who are contributing to Afri Forum to ensure that government is not abusing and oppressing citizens going to be looking to join other organizations that are doing a whole a whole lot of good work on the ground that are making sure that they are serving the people that are making sure that government whether it is the ANC the DA the EFF and others are not abusing tax money are not abusing their power in setting laws and are not enriching themselves um, in a corrupt way in a fraudulent manner and in a way that is not in line with the constitution and what the people of South Africa need this month in October Soweto parliament under the leadership of Ntlantla Lux is going to be hosting their Olympics. And I'm going to be meeting up with Ntlantla Lux and finding out what's happening. I know there's 1 million Rand up for grabs uh, in infrastructure, in sports infrastructure 
for the neighborhood that wins at those Olympics. But I'm going to find out more about that and I'm going to update you guys as well. Penny on the black pen. I hope you'll have a great day. Uh, please know that this video was sponsored by Mbewu Tech, which is an e-commerce platform which focuses on selling local products, uh, home appliances, office appliances, and electronics. www.mbewutech.co.za is the platform. If you have products that you would like to sell, if you would like to get in touch with them, maybe to invest in the business or to find out how you can get involved in the business, please contact them. Chat to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Cheers.